everyone needs to back up their iCloud photo library in more than one place so that way you can guarantee that your photos are absolutely safe. So in this video, we're gonna walk through the three ways that you can make sure that your photos are protected. So let's get into it. Despite what you might think, iCloud and iCloud Photos is not actually a true backup of your photo library. It's more of a syncing solution that makes sure that when you take a photo on one device, that it appears on another. Let me give an example to explain this. Let's say your family is on vacation in Europe and you've taken a bunch of photos on Monday. When you go to the hotel or Airbnb that night, iCloud is gonna sync all of those photos and they are automatically going to appear on your iPad or your Mac. That's great, but that is just syncing between devices. Let's use a second example. Let's say your seven-year-old niece or seven-year-old daughter is smashing on your phone playing video games with her goldfish-covered hands. The problem is when she goes into the Photos app and deletes 20 of your photos, they're gonna sit in the recently deleted folder for 30 days, but then when they get deleted, they're going to delete from your iPhone, your iPad, your Mac, and any other iCloud devices. So what that means is those photos are actually not safe and they are now gone forever. So let's talk about the ways that you can prevent that and make sure that your information and photos are protected. So first up is cloud storage. Now, before we talk about alternative cloud storage solutions, let's look at exactly what Apple does cover with iCloud and with iCloud Photos. By default, iCloud is gonna store your device settings, your app, and your Apple Watch information. If you're using iCloud Photos, like we mentioned at the beginning of this video, your iCloud is not backing up and saving your photos and videos. However, if you opt to not use iCloud Photos, but you're still using iCloud for phone backups, then it will be backing up your photos and videos. It's a little confusing, but that's why we need to find a secondary solution. Regardless of which way you have it set up, I would definitely recommend that you have a second or third backup option because no one wants to lose those photos of Great Aunt Barbara's 105th birthday party. Now my photo album is actually relatively small, so I have those stored in Google Photos. So what I do is I pay for Google One, and I think it's 20 or $30 a year, and that gives me enough cloud storage space to keep an entire replica of my iCloud Photos library in Google Photos. So that way, if there's ever an issue with iCloud, I know that I've got a complete backup on a completely different platform. So let's jump into an example on my Mac here. I've opened up Apple Photos, and I wanna export these top 10 images. So what I'm gonna do is create a folder on my desktop. I'm gonna call it 2019 Europe. I'm then gonna go back to Photos. I'm going to select the photos that I wanna export. I'm gonna click File, Export. You'll see a handful of options here. You can drill in and change the file type. You can change the naming and subfolders and all that good stuff. I'm gonna choose the folder that I just created. And then I'm going to click Export. So once those photos are done, you'll see they've exported here into my folder. And now I'm gonna open up Google Photos. I'm gonna start by creating a new album and I'm gonna name it 2019 Europe, just like I did that folder. And I will simply drag and drop my images in. You'll see that I've got two options. I've got original quality or storage saver, which is gonna save a slightly more compressed version of those photos. The thing is, there's a lot of solutions out there. You don't have to use just Google. You could use Dropbox, Amazon Photos, Box, Microsoft OneDrive, iDrive, that's just a few, but there are a ton of options on the market that will give you cloud storage at a reasonable price. So let's talk about the pros and cons of cloud storage for your photos. Pro number one is that your photos are easily accessible and you can get to them almost anywhere. The second pro is that it is easy to maintain. Pretty much anyone has the skills and capability to take their photos and upload them into the cloud. Some of the cons is that if you've got a large library, this can get really expensive really quickly. And the second con is that you are at the mercy of the cloud storage provider. So if Google or Amazon or Dropbox creates different terms of service or they change the way in which you can upload photos or the quality, there's not really a whole lot you can do about that besides switching providers. So what do you do if your iCloud photo library is really, really large or you just don't wanna go through the hassle of moving it into another cloud storage solution where that's where physical storage comes into place with hard drives or SSDs or NAS systems. So the first system that I would recommend is actually using 
Time Machine if you have a Mac. So what is Time Machine? Time Machine comes pre-installed on every Mac computer and it allows you to easily use an external hard drive to create backups of your entire computer and that includes your photos library. You can set up Time Machine to record backups every hour, every day, or every week, and it's easy to log in and swipe through all of those backups and find information that you may have lost or misplaced. Again, let's talk about the pros and cons of Time Machine. The pro is that it is relatively simple. Plug in your hard drive and get started. Two, it's really easy to recover your lost files. All you have to do is go into the Time Machine settings and you can look through all of your archived backups. The cons is that this is not a cloud backup system. So if you lose that hard drive, you are out of luck and that backup is completely gone. The second is that because Time Machine is doing a backup of your entire computer, not just your photos library, you might need some pretty large external drives to store all of that information. So we've talked about cloud storage, we've talked about Time Machine backups. The third option is using an external hard drive to just store those photos and folders. And this is gonna be your most flexible option that's gonna allow you to do pretty much anything and everything you want with your photos. The easiest way to make a backup of your photos library is to go into the Photos app on your Mac, click Settings, General, and Library Location. This is where you can see the actual file that's housing all of your photos on your Mac. You can even click Show and Finder to find the exact location. If you wanna make a backup of this photo library, all you have to do is copy that file to your SSD or external hard drive. You do wanna be aware though, that this file could be quite large. It could be gigabytes or terabytes, depending on how many photos and videos you actually have saved in your system. Once you've made a copy of that photos library file onto an external hard drive, you can access that at any time. Simply plug in the hard drive, double click that file and open it up. That will be an archive of exactly how the photos library was when you made the copy. That means if you make changes on your desktop today or tomorrow or a week from now, you can always plug in that hard drive and go back and access your photo library as it was at that time. Let's say you've got a newer Mac that's only got 256 gigabytes of storage, but your photos library is something like two or three terabytes. Well, this is where this comes in handy because when you saved that photos library file to that external hard drive, that could be your default location for your photos. What you would do is double click on that file that's in your external hard drive and that would open up your photos library every time. It's no longer going to save that library to your computer's internal hard drive. That saves you space and keeps your computer running fast and smooth. One of the downsides of this photo library file is that it is proprietary to Apple. That means you're not gonna be able to put this on a Windows computer or open it on an Android device. So one of the best alternatives is just building your own folder structure on a hard drive and dragging and dropping photos. Now, if you've got a large library, this is gonna be really time consuming and really painful, but it is going to give you the most amount of flexibility. A lot of times what I'll do is create a hard drive with the year, I will put all of the folders and albums that I want, and I will just drag photos from the Photos app into those folders. It creates a completely unwalled backup that I can do anything with, and I'm not tied to any Apple systems. So let's talk about the pros and cons of using an external hard drive for your photo backup. Number one, it's cheap. You can get an external hard drive for a pretty cheap cost at most stores, and it's a great, reliable way to back up your photos. Two, it's flexible, and if you're moving your photos into folders, you can do pretty much whatever you want with them. And three, it's relatively simple to get started. Let's talk about the cons though. Is one, if you're gonna do that file structure, it can be kind of time consuming to move those photos out of the Photos app and into your file structure. It also might require a large amount of hard drives if you've got a very large library. And three, this is not a cloud backup system. So if you've got all those photos backed up to an external hard drive and that hard drive fails or you lose it, all those photos are gone. So in conclusion, there's three primary ways you can back up your photos that are not involving iCloud. You can use cloud storage, you can use Time Machine, or you could use an external hard drive. For me personally, I would recommend that you use one or two options because you want to make sure that your photos are absolutely safe. For me, I'm paying for iCloud storage so they sync between my devices. I pay for Google One so that way I have a second cloud-based backup. I do Time Machine, 
and I have an external hard drive with all of my folders and files. Seems like overkill, but it means that all of my photos are backed up in three or four places and the likelihood that I'm gonna lose those precious memories are very slim to none. So if you learn something new or if you're gonna try a new backup system, I'd love to hear what you're doing. So leave a comment and I will see you in the next one.